Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about sweep circuit using transistor switch. So till now we have seen a sweep circuit which was made up of UJT, UJT device, unijunction transistor. Now the same can also be obtained by using bipolar junction transistor which is nothing but a BJT. So the circuit consisting of a BJT bipolar junction transistor and capacitor as well as resistor. So it is bipolar junction transistor where the emitter is connected to ground and from this collector we are having the output voltage and from the same place a capacity is connected to the ground and a resistor is connected to the VYY. If you see this particular branch consisting of resistance followed by capacitance, the same branch we have used in the case of UJT relaxation oscillator or UJT sweep circuit. Okay, because the main motto of this uh, sweep circuit is to generate a sawtooth waveform. Okay, in order to generate the sawtooth waveform, there should be some charging and discharging action should be performed. The charging and discharging action is done through the help of capacitor only. Okay, so from here we are having the output voltage V naught or VC voltage across capacitor. And at the input of this transistor, we will be giving input which is nothing but a rectangular waveform. Okay, that might be out the output of any type of multi vibrator. Now, from base, we are having a resistor. This resistor is connected, the other end of this resistor is connected to the biasing voltage VYY. It is R dash. Okay. So now, if you see the operation of this particular transistor, by seeing the circuit, you can easily analyze how it is working. Initially, the transistor is in off state. Okay. In, uh, I am not saying what about the input condition first. First, I will explain what happens uh, with respect to the capacitor charging and discharging with respect to the transistor on and off states. Suppose if I say the transistor is in off state, okay, let us assume in the beginning transistor is said to be in off state. When it is in off state, what is the status of capacitor? Okay, let it be Q. If the transistor Q is in off state, so what happens? The current will flow from VYY through this R towards this capacitor. So what happens now as the current flows from the main supply VYY towards this C capacitor is having a charging path. So capacitor C charges C charges. So what happens output will increase towards the VYY. I will draw parallel here. Just I am not comparing this output waveform with the input waveform just I am saying what happens with depending upon the status of the transistor what is the status of the capacitor I am just explaining okay it is the voltage across capacitor so initially when the transistor is in offset capacitor tries to charge up to VYY because that is the maximum voltage appeared in that path now when the transistor comes into on state C discharges what is the discharging path now capacitor discharges through the on resistance of the through the on resistance of the transistor when the transistor is said to be in on state there exists a small or low resistance path from collector to emitter so obviously capacitor finds a discharging path so capacitor discharges so meanwhile it uh, meanwhile when it reaches the vyy it automatically goes towards like this towards zero or any lower value voltage like value voltage okay so in this way the charging and discharging of the capacitance capacitor takes place 
Now the condition here is what we need to study in this particular concept is when the capacitor comes into on state and when it is comes into when it comes into off state. Okay, so that completely depending upon the input we are applying here at the base of the transistor. Okay, so Q <coughs> status of Q nothing but transistor depends on the applied input applied input so that input is like this so we are applying a waveform which is obtained from the output of a multi vibrator this is the axis time axis now the sweep period for this one is ts this is the sweep period ts and this is the input waveform we are applying where it is coming from it may be output of any multi vibrator output of any multi vibrator it may be a bistable or a stable or monostable now this input waveform is applied at the base of the transistor what happens to the transistor reaction during this negative period suppose if you take this as zero axis and this is negative axis or something like it is like a um, positive one volt or two volts and remaining you will be having least value or negative value then during this period sweep period the transistor is in off state this is the state where we are having transistor is set to be in off and it is on it is also on okay so initially the capacitor charges when the transistor is in on state so when transistor is in on state why it is on because we are having low input voltage though it is on here in the first case if it is on if the transistor is on the capacitor has no voltage it is completely discharged okay so now we are having a capacitor where there is no voltage across it there is no charging developed across it so that's why even if the transistor is in on state there there is no voltage capacitor is not discharging now at this particular instant we are having the input voltage change from some higher level to lower level where the transistor set to be in off state when the transistor is in off state what happens to the capacitor capacitor charges so capacitor charges here onwards capacitor charges like this but when it reaches the maximum value see when it reaches this value at this time period what happens again the input signal goes high so transistor comes into on state so whatever the charge accumulated previously across the capacitor now it discharges slowly this period is nothing but retrace period okay the amplitude we are taking this amplitude as sweep amplitude sweep voltage vs and the bottom value is vv value voltage upper value is vp uh, peak voltage okay vp or vc v not or vc now this amplitude from here to here we are taking as vs small vs and this maximum amplitude we are taking it as capital vs hope you understand how the transistor will also generate this sweep period when it is in off state and on state again after some time again it will come into on state uh, off state so then capacitor charges this process will be repeated but ultimately we will be having a sawtooth or sweep waveform sweep output voltage using use uh, bjt bipolar junction transistor okay so in this way we can design a sawtooth waveform generator using a bipolar junction transistor here the sweep uh, what is that a slope error 
the slope error es is equal to vs by v so don't forget these values this formula es is equal to sweep sweep uh, slope sweep error or slope error sweep uh, slope error es is equal to es by v vs by v that is equal to ts by rc already we have calculated this how we have got this ts by rc where <laughs> vs is equal to vp minus vv vs is equal to c from this figure vs is equal to how to obtain this value see all these are same so it discharges like this discharges and goes to a value Okay, this is a common line, single line. So now this is VV. From here to here, complete maximum value is VP. From here to here, it is VV. So VS, how we can write VS is equal to VP minus VV. VS is equal to VP minus VV. So VS is equal to VP minus VV. And V is equal to VYY minus VV. Vs is equal to V is equal to Vyy minus V. This one denominator in this slope error. Okay, so numerator Vs can be written as Vp minus Vv, and in the denominating part we are having V. V is equal to Vyy minus V. So Vyy is nothing but it is the maximum biasing voltage. Maximum voltage for the amplitude. Maximum voltage appeared for the capacitor to charge. Okay, Vyy minus Vv valley voltage. Okay, so this all we have done only within from 0 to Ts, 0 less than T less than Ts. Okay, again at T is equal to Ts, what happens? We will be having some maximum amplitude like peak amplitude Vv, Vp. Okay, so this is the way how to design a bipolar junction transistor in the sweep generating circuits.